is, I can't describe it. It's something spiritual. It fills your heart. You see the lights coming on for a new person who didn't understand. That guy didn't have the guy who said, it's not your fault. I said that to him. And then I saw this look of, you know, this look of relief that it wasn't his fault. And we started talking in a completely different way. And I get as much help from talking to 600 people as I do to one person. It gives me the juice, the same amount. Um, and I think when I lay in this hospital bed for five months, I had to figure out, well, first of all, I was put on an ECMO machine. An ECMO machine does all your breathing and does all your um, heart work. It's a machine that does that. And it's what doctors and people call a Hail Mary. It never works. People put them on this machine and they die. But it, you know, it's the, it works occasionally. Um, and five people had an, an ECMO machine that night and the other four died. And I survived. And my parents were told that I had a 2% chance of making it through the night. So I'll have to live the rest of my life knowing that my parents heard those words. And when something like that happens, you'd think you'd be filled with gratitude, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm so lucky to be alive. That's not what it is. You don't feel that way. You feel pissed. You feel pissed <laughs> off, you know? It's like, why did this happen to me? And like, God, and like I vomited into my respirator. And you talk to anybody in the medical profession and go, that guy's dead. There's no way that that guy with that combination of things survived. And as I started to get better, I started to get better. Like, you know, we were told by doctors that I was so messed up down there that they couldn't even operate for another year and a half until everything was okay enough to go back in. And so I had to live my life that way and with really unfortunate things happening. And, and you know, I never thought I'd get to sit up here. I never thought I'd... I mean, it's crazy that I wrote a number one bestseller, you know? <laughs>